family. You ready for the next chapter? This is chapter 16 in How to Steal a Dog. As soon as I got to the house, I knew Mookie was back. First, I saw his bicycle propped against the bushes on the side. Then I caught a whiff of something cooking. He looked up when I came around the corner. Hey there, he said. Hey. I went straight on over to Willie and gave him the bacon I brought. I'm glad you brought that, Mookie said, because he's been eyeing my Hoover gravy like he was going to eat it all, and then me too. I squinted into the pan Mookie held over a small fire in the ring of rocks. A pale gray liquid bubbled and smoked in the pan. What is that? I said. Hoover gravy, Mookie said. Want some? No, thanks. I watched him dip a slice of bread into the watery liquid and eat it. Yuck. Where's Toby? Mookie said. Doing his homework with my mom. Ain't you got homework? I sat on the steps and pulled Willie into my lap. A little. I picked some burrs out of Willie's fur. But I don't need help like Toby. He's not very smart. Mookie stopped another piece of bread in the watery gravy. Smart ain't got a thing to do with school, he said. I never went past sixth grade myself. He ate the soggy bread, then added, and I'm pretty smart. He licked his fingers. Besides, he said, if you ask me, School's about as useful as a trapdoor on a canoe. Can't get a job if you don't go to school, I said. Says who? Says everybody. I work every day of my life, he said. Where? Everywhere. Like where, I said. Everywhere, he repeated. I frowned down at Willie and ran my finger over the velvety fur on his nose. Look, he was crazy. Why was I even talking to him? Then how come you live like a bum, I said. I felt my face burn. I shouldn't have said that. But Mookie just laughed. I said I worked. I didn't say I got paid. You work for free? Sometimes. He took the pan off the fire and scooped dirt over the flames. How come, I said. He tied the end of the bread bag in a knot, then leaned back against his rolled up sleeping bag. Why not, he said. What kind of work do you do? Whatever I come across that needs to be done, he said. Might be fixing a roof, might be painting, might be digging ditches. He wiggled his three fingers hand at his three fingered hand at me. Might even be fixing tractor engines, he added. For free? Sometimes yes. Sometimes no. He took a toothpick out of his shirt pocket and stuck it in the corner of his mouth. But why would you do that stuff for free? Because sometimes people need stuff done more than I need money, he said. That sounded crazy, but I didn't say so. It looked to me like he could use some money. Mookie got his baseball hat off and scratched his fuzzy gray hair. Besides, he said, I got a motto. You want to hear it? I shrugged. Sometimes the trail you leave behind you is more important than the path ahead of you. He put his hat back on. You got a motto, he said. I shook my head. Nope. He stuck his finger in the gravy. Okay, little fella, he said to Willie. It's cool enough for you now. He slid the pan towards the steps, and Willie ran down and lapped up the gravy. Clumps of gooey flour stuck to the bottom of the pan. He licked them, too. Then Mookie took me by surprise when he said, Ain't your mama found you a new place to live yet? Not yet, I said, but she's working on it. You know, I saw the strangest thing today, Mookie said. I saw a little old sign with a dog who looked just like yours. When he said that, my heart sank right straight down to my feet. Like Willie? Mookie nodded. Yep. I couldn't even look at Mookie. And you know what was even stranger, he said? I swallowed hard and made myself say, what? That dog's name is Willie too. Mookie grinned at me, flashing that gold tooth of his. Ain't that something? I looked down at Willie, still licking the pan. Yes, sir, I said, surprised at how my voice came out so low and shaky. Mookie switched the toothpick over to the other side of the mouth and chewed on it. I looked down at the ground and traced circles in the dirt with the toe of my shoe. I never thought I'd say it, but I wished I was back in our ratty old car, snuggled up in the back seat, hugging my pillow. I better go, I said, giving Willie a quick pat on the head. Bye now. I felt Wookie's eyes on me as I walked toward the side of the house. Just as I was about to round the corner, he called out, Hey, Georgina! I stopped. I've got another motto, 
He said, you want to hear it? He didn't even wait for me to answer. Sometimes, he said, the more you stir it, the worse it stinks. I turned and hurried up the path to the road. When I got back to the car, I took out my purple notebook. I slouched down and propped my feet up on the dashboard. I opened to How to Steal a Dog. April 25th, I wrote Step 7. I stared out the window, tapping the pencil against my teeth. I looked down at the paper and wrote, Remember. I looked out the window again, then back at the paper. I drew a box under the word remember. Inside the box I wrote, sometimes the more you stir it, the worse it stinks. Then I closed my notebook, climbed into the back seat, hugged my pillow, and waited for Mama and Toby. There you go. I'll see you tomorrow.